or using artificial intelligence at traffic lights to detect wheelchairs, walking aids or other mobility devices so that people can use them, using them can cross the road safely. This project has helped three ITE students clinch the grand prize of 15,000 Singapore dollars in a competition for youths to build tomorrow's Singapore through tech innovation. They also won an additional $3,000 for the best innovation in mobility. The challenge this year was to come up with ideas to address areas like well-being, learning and mobility. Teams from NUS picked up the second and third prizes. One project aims to make it easier for the visually impaired to make cashless payments. The other came up with a platform to consolidate household energy use to help reduce consumption. 144 teams took part in the second edition of Huawei Tech for City. And for more, we're joined now in the studio by Fu Fang Yong, he's CEO of Huawei International, and Zamian Ng, a student from ITE College East. Zamian is the team leader of Team Mobility, the winners of this year's Tech for City competition. Gentlemen, welcome to the studio. It's good to see you. Mr. Fu, let's begin with you. The competition focuses on cultivating uh, local talent and getting them to solve real world problems. And you're looking to the younger generation to actually achieve this. Tell us why. Right, I think the simple, the answer can be as simple as uh, we see youth segment uh, as maybe perhaps the best dreamers. And uh, you know, as you know, Tech for City is actually a digital inclusion program oriented, you know, or from Singapore by Huawei Technologies in Singapore, and it is actually aimed to empower the youth, you know, by using technologies to create social impact. And sometimes, uh, over in times, you know, what we have observed, you know, from the youth segment is uh, the perspective that they look at real life problems can be very genuine, and can be simply because of their their genuine care, you know, of towards their grandparents, their peers, and even, you know, the neighborhood. So, so what we see is uh, this is actually a very powerful creativity process where we hope we will be able to bring and help them to bring idea into applications and by using digital technologies. Oh, well, Mr. Um, uh, first, congratulations for this win. Uh, Thank you. <coughs> uh, again, very quickly, if I could summarize uh, your idea was to let traffic lights be able to pick up on people who are differently abled and from there build on that to make crossing the road safer for them. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in any one of these points yeah. and then follow up by telling me what drove that idea for this design of yours. Uh, <clears throat> so basically our system would add time upon the detection of any mobility aids and there is a second to ensure that they are able to cross the road safely. So the first time extension and so then the first, second one. More time <laughs> and then second, but what is the second addition? Uh, the second one is if they are unable to finish crossing and they will get a second time extension to finish the crossing. Okay, all right. So it's able to detect whether or not you've actually finished your crossing. Uh, yes. Mm. Okay. So there must be a lot of uh, data that you needed. I mean, in the development of this, you would have required a lot of data analysis of that data as well? W were there specific challenges that went into this? Uh, I think the challenging part would be the fact that um, uh, the, s the walking stick would be a similar color to the ground. So we would, need it, we would have needed a lot more data to actually train it on and make sure that it's not just the color. So by having more data and actually, it's actually a bit time consuming, but uh, if we are able to get a better accuracy of that, I think it's definitely 100% worth it. Right, so this is something that you are continuing to do to perfect as well? Uh, yes. Okay. Right, uh, Mr. Fu, uh, this is a classic case of technology combined with young, bright minds right. uh, helping to solve a problem that not just Singapore, but a great many countries are facing. Right. How far do you see, we keep saying tech is the answer to a great deal. But is tech really, from your point of view, the answer to addressing all the challenges that would arise in a seriously aging population? I would say for every problem, there is a solution from technology perspective. Uh, uh, the, the importance is how do we connect the dots you know, into lines you know, by getting you know, all the digital inclusion workforces to work together so I think Tech for City is basically playing the role and we hope it will become a platform 
as when we are bringing in not only the government agencies such as IMDA, Digital for Life, uh, we are also actually inviting industry partners who understand the problem statements, as well as uh, knowledge partner and community partners. So as when we are combining our different perspective and lateral thinking together to, and with the very wildest ideas you know, that we can actually see you know, from the youth segment, I, I would say there will be many more innovations and solutions that we'll be able to create from technology perspective that meets the local needs, such as Singapore. Zamian, you mentioned that you're still in the process of refining perhaps your innovation. It can be refined further. Uh, better quality data would help as well. I mean, and while you're doing that, I mean, will you be trialing this technology at any point? Or, or are you, tell us what your next steps are. Uh, actually, our plan right now is actually to uh, contact the LTA to maybe make some arrangements so that we're able to implement this at one traffic stop. So from there, we'll be able to adjust and see how it, Singaporeans adapt to it or how it will work or see how Singaporeans stick to it. As you know, drivers are quite uh, unkempt in Singapore. So yeah, uh, in that way, we're trying to test it out at one junction and maybe expand it if it is um, working fine and we are able to get the technology right. Mm. All right, thanks so much for joining us this evening, both you gentlemen, Fu Fang Yong, CEO of Huawei International, and Zemin Ng, student of IT College East and team leader of Team Mobility Arts, the winner of this year's Tech for City competition. Thanks so much for coming in this evening. Thank you Thank for you having us. Me.